I want to carry cargo on the top of my Encore. So I bought these. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here with my Buick Encore. And as you can see, I do have these roof rack rails here. I actually think these are pretty universal design. They kind of have this little edge on the outside, this little lip, and then on the inside, they are flat. And actually, if I look at something like this Audi Q3, it kind of seems like it's the same thing. This little lip on the outside edge and then flat on the inside. So I think most roof rack rails are pretty universal, I think. Now, I did buy a set that are actually listed as compatible with this because I didn't want to risk anything. Now, you might be saying, why did you want to put a roof rack on the top of your car? And the answer is, I'm going to do a little road trip here with my Encore. And basically, I'm going to have to sleep in my Encore for some of that. And so this car does not have a ton of space inside. As you can see, it's a pretty short, itty bitty car. And I'm a big, burly guy. So in order to sleep inside of it, I need to put my stuff on the outside. So I'm going to get the gear to do that so I can carry most of the stuff up on the roof. But the first thing we need to do is get some rails on here and see if they'll work. All right. So here are the two rails. They look like extruded aluminum to me. Ooh, they've got a little wing design. So I hope the car doesn't lift off the ground. <laughs> and they are covered in white plastic just to make sure that they aren't damaged in shipping. You can see the cross section there. So we get two of those. So then in this box here, I think we will have all of the fittings that we will need. So you can see how the instructions say that these little caps will go on the end. Looks like we'll have to do some tightening down and stuff. I think this bug is local, was not included with the kit, so don't buy the kit for that. And then once we get those on, we can put them onto the rails up there and then lock them in place. So as you can see here, these little clamps that'll go on the edge, man, they're pretty thick. This is all like a plastic here and so it looks like we can make some adjustments in and out to make sure that they fit but these are much bigger than i thought i'd say that these are like four inches wide i will say that this is not a hard plastic on the inside here this is like a rubber but it's like a hard rubber and then on the inside of this piece here so those two will clamp down you can see how they will tighten up and that's what's going to hold it in place and then the little extruded aluminum rails will slide in there and you can see that these pieces will kind of hold it in place so looks like we get four of those which is what I'd expect and then the little covers to lock it down so that no one will steal them off of your car so we have the keys there and then it looks like also the allen keys that we need to tighten everything together are here too so I'm going to take off the plastic on the sucker and start assembling it to assemble these things you actually have to take out this middle piece here this adapter so you're going to use one of these tools and remove this bolt right here and then the guts of it will split out now I'm still finding this now I'm still finding this a little tight to put in there but I realized here that if you turn this counterclockwise that's going to loosen that up a little bit and make this a little easier to press it and then we want to make sure they are in there securely so you want to tighten these back up so they're nice and snug okay now i'm not going to show you both sides here but this is the right side and basically we're going to slide this back in and now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kind of just assemble this and then what we will do here too is just attach this clamp this down to the roof rack up here and then tighten in this screw on the outside to tighten that down so i'm just going to kind of dry fit everything first and just make sure it fits all right, so I put them up here. I'm just dry fitting them. And I will tell you that the two aluminum bars must be different lengths because I put this one on there and I was like, oh man, it's too wide. How am I going to adjust it? But this must be wider up at the front. So there must be a standard where it's pretty wide up at the front and then tapers to the back because then I put this one together and I was like, oh, it's perfect. So you can see here that when you tighten the bar into these little caps, the width matches my car just perfectly. So does give you a little room to slide them forward or backwards as you need to so i'm just going to kind of fit them right now you can always adjust them but then you're going to tighten it down here so i'm going to tighten those down and then we will get the caps on and see what that's like final pass over all these bolts just to make sure they're all tightened down now we're going to take these little covers here and they are marked left and right right means passenger side i believe so what we are going to do now is put these in and the way you will do that is you'll put these lower hooks in first just like that and now you'll rock this sucker forward now the lock here will cam into this little opening right there i believe so if i put this in like this and now i put the key in here and then turn that key pull it out that sucker is in there so that's going to mean it's secure so that's it so i'm just going to put the rest of these in and we should be finishing it up 
All right, so there they are, all locked up secure. They are definitely on there tight. I thought, well, maybe these are something that you can take off and put on really quickly. It's not gonna be that way. So if you put them on, then I would strongly suggest leaving them on because I think that they are going to be a little bit of a faff to get off because you have to use that Allen key to remove a lot of bolts. But they certainly look good. I mean, that metal on the roof rack matches that extruded aluminum and they kind of make my Encore look sporty. They kind of take this little runabout and make it look like I do stuff. So even if I weren't planning on going on a road trip here, I'd probably put these on so that people would think, man, maybe that guy surfs or kiteboards or downhill skis or something like that. Because man, doesn't that just make it look sporty? Don't you see roof racks on cars and just assume that person can as an active outdoor lifestyle. So, hey, if you want to just fool people into thinking that you're active outdoors, then you should pick these up. But if you actually have a need for them, like I do, I think these are pretty good ones. And if you have a Chevy Trax or a Buick Encore, then man, these are going to be a perfect fit right out of the gate. I will put a link to these in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.